Now for the news in detail, the His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Show Jumping Championship organized by the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, BREEF, was held on Friday, the 12th of January, 2024, at the Military Sports Association Field in Arafah, in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the sons of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee. His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid crowned the winners of the first places in the presence of BREEF board members, officials and senior attendees. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad congratulated the winners of His Highness's show jumping championship, expressing pride in holding the event under his patronage and praising the distinguished performance of jockeys. His Highness asserted that such events contribute to preparing distinguished jockeys to represent the national team at various international championships. He lauded the outstanding organization of the championship by BREEF, led by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and other board members, appreciating their efforts to develop various equestrian sports. The Minister of Labor, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, paid a visit to the Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company, GPIC, where he was welcomed by its chairman, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, and several officials. Hamidan stressed the important role played by various sectors, including the industrial, in consolidating the kingdom's economic status, as well as generating promising job opportunities for the citizens and qualifying them through professional training programs. He reviewed the company's achievements in employing national workers as the GPIC's Bahrainization rate reached 93%. The minister pointed out that his visit comes in appreciation for the efforts of companies and institutions that support the Labor Ministry's initiatives and programs in the field of employing national cadres. He expressed gratitude to GPIC for its efforts in employing Bahrainis, noting that the company serves as a role model for investing in national competencies and opening career development horizons for the national workforce. Hamidan added that the industrial company's success in embracing Bahraini human resources and paving the way for them to showcase their distinguished capabilities contributes to enhancing the company's growth and raising Bahraini regional competitiveness in attracting industrial investments. He affirmed that the Ministry of Labor and the Labor Fund Temkin are working jointly to provide the industrial sector with qualified and trade citizens through new programs that keep pace with technological developments in this sector. GPIC Chairman Kamal bin Ahmed asserted that the company will continue relying on national competencies in various administrative, supervisory and technical posts. He highlighted GPIC's future plans to recruit more nationals and commended the keenness of the Labor Ministry and Temkin on rehabilitating national 
job seekers and facilitating their integration into the industrial sector. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, confirmed that the real gross domestic product, GDP, for the Kingdom of Bahrain registered a growth rate of 3.6% in 2023, compared to 2.7% in 2022. More in this report. In light of the achievements and progress made by the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain across all fronts, continuous economic growth has emerged as an indicator of the clear vision and the success of the ambitious plans and programs aimed at enhancing the country's economy. The International Monetary Fund IMF has confirmed Bahrain's real gross domestic product GDP growth at 3.6% in 2023 compared to 2.7% in 2022, a percentage that reflects the overall context of the government's approach led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in advancing all indicators of development and prosperity experienced by the kingdom. And in a previous study, the IMF had revealed that Bahrain recorded a 2.5% GDP growth at constant prices during the third quarter of 2023 on an annual basis, which was supported by a 4.5% growth in the non-oil sector, followed by expectations of improvement and increased prominence of the oil sector during the first and second quarters of 2024, both at the Gulf and Arab levels. The non-oil sectors in Bahrain played a pivotal role in supporting economic growth, with their GDP contribution at constant prices reaching 83.6% during the past year. Among the notable GDP contributors are the transportation and telecommunication, the hotel and restaurant, the real estate, the financial projects, and the trade sector, which recorded a growth rate exceeding 5% on an annual basis. These statistics serve as a testament to the resilience of Bahrain's economy and the fruitful collaboration among its various economic sectors, laying the foundation for an enhanced economic landscape in line with the government's visionary aspirations for a brighter and more prosperous future. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, participated in the International Humanitarian Appeal to Support Gaza Conference, organized by the Egyptian Red Crescent Society and opened by Egypt's Minister of Social Solidarity, ERC Vice Chairperson Nevin al kabat Addressing the conference, Dr. Sayed said that the RHF is participating in the event to showcase its solidarity with the Palestinian people and discuss the best means to deliver humanitarian aid to them amid the ongoing war in the enclave and its humanitarian and social social impacts on the local residents. The RHF Secretary General asserted that the Kingdom had been among the first countries to deliver humanitarian assistance to the Palestinians in Gaza thanks to the sound strategies adopted by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa as well as the humanitarian work leader His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Indian Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain organized the India in Bahrain Festival at the Embassy premises in Sif. The festival showcased the rich cultural diversity of India and the heritage of different states to the viewers and visitors. The event included various artistic performances representing the classical and folk traditions of various regions in India, as well as stalls depicting cooking, handicrafts and cultural events. Uh, we are here at the Indian Embassy today and we are celebrating India in Bahrain. It's really a proud moment for us as Indian migrants to be here this evening and experience people from various states within India. We are so thankful to the government of Bahrain that gives us this opportunity to live here. Our kids are getting educated here. We are really, really thankful and so happy to be here today. We are here in Bahrain from last 40 years. Maharashtra Cultural Society is basically a, a cultural organization uh, from the state of Maharashtra from India. And uh, we conduct a lot of cultural, educational and social and sports activities for our community within Bahrain. Uh, from past 10 years, I am living in Bahrain. So now Bahrain is also my favorite. You know why? Because uh, it's, a, um, it's full of like different type of communities like within India. If there are so many states in India, then the, every state, most of the states are here only. Why? Because communities are here, like Odisha community, Maharashtra community, uh, Kerala community. So we are open. See, now today we our cultural program going on here. Uh, we are represented in Kerala, uh, all the people. Uh, let's enjoy the event.
Where the government very good support for Indian society. We are one of the leading society, I think, here, Indian people. We are enjoying living here. I'm representing Pravasi Legal Cell and I'm the member of the core team. And Pravasi Legal Cell actually in collaboration with a New Millennium School. She's a teacher in New Millennium School. And uh, grade 9 students have come to you know, show the glimpse of all the Indian the traditional attires. So in Bahrain we have all the people from all the states. So this is these students uh, from uh, grade uh, 9 grade from nine. all the yeah, NMS. They are going to show the traditional attires of all the states over here. It's a great honor to be here because PLC has given opportunity to New Millennium School in Bahrain and grade 9 students are participating for the first time and they are showcasing all the different different attires plus north to south whole India we are representing from school. Thank you so much. I'm from Punjabi Versa. Uh, we are a group of six ladies who have come together just this year to uh, promote our culture and heritage towards our children and to help and empower the women in our society. So uh, we uh, teach them uh, Punjabi language and everything. This is what Punjabi Virsa does. In Virsa, Virsa means culture and heritage. So a part of it is Bhangra and Gidda, which is our folk dance. And they'll be the performers this evening for us. Sebastian Love was able to enjoy the rest day in the Dakar rally today after serving a clear reminder that Bahrain Raid Extreme are still firmly in the hunt for victory. As the BRX technicians refreshed his pro-drive hunter with planned parts changes in Riyadh, Loeb needed no reminding that he scored a record-breaking six successive stage wins in Saudi Arabia last year. Loeb and co-driver Fabian Lochkian have the Audi of rally leader Carlos Sainz in their sights in the opening round of this year's World Rally Raid Championship. Loeb's second success in the rally's first week was hugely impressive as it came on the 547 kilometer chrono stage over the biggest dunes in the empty quarter. The rally restarts tomorrow with a 483 kilometer stage to El Doedmi with Sainz holding a 20 minute lead over Audi teammate Matthias Ekstrom.